Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another spooky Sunday video. I really hope I'm in focus because I've been messing around with it for like 10 minutes and also my camera decided to play up and it was showing error mode. It's always something like that when I'm filming a scary video and it freaks me out. Usually it's iMovie. iMovie won't let me save the video so then I can't upload it and it usually takes me like three days and now it's my camera. I know there's gonna be people commenting saying it's a sign that you shouldn't do it. I love doing the spooky video so much that I just ignore it and carry on like nothing's going on. Anyway, in today's video, we are going to be watching and talking about TikTokers that were almost kidnapped. I also have my own story time of a time when I was almost kidnapped, I guess. I mean, I'm not sure if it was being kidnapped or something even more, not even more sinister because obviously being kidnapped is sinister, but as sinister. Before I get into the video, I do want to say that obviously we are watching these videos to talk about and stuff, but it is a sensitive subject. It is a very real and dangerous issue. So please be sensitive in the comments. I'm going to try and be sensitive whilst reacting to the content because this isn't about ghosts and stuff. This is about people's real life experiences of something that can be traumatic. So I wanted to say that little disclaimer before we get into it. So without further ado, let's get on into today's video and I hope you all like it. Okay, so I've got five videos, but two of them are from the same person and it's a part one and a part two. I did try and find as many stories as I could that were just one part because I didn't want the video to be too long, but that's sort of the vibe. So we're going to go in and watch the first one. And this one isn't a story time. It's something that was caught on camera and we're just going to react to it. Not gonna lie, this one freaked me out because I don't know if you could hear it, but it sounded like the person in the car shouted something. What did it sound like he shouted? Let me go back to it. it kind of sounds like right or wait, like wait. Let me try again. Yeah, it kind of sounds like wait, which just freaks me out. And then if you see at the end of the video, obviously they slowed down on the one side of the road where the girl was walking. And then when they realized she was recording, they like merge into a different lane. It just gives me all the bad vibes. I definitely think there was bad intentions from the people in that car. I'm not gonna lie, watching that video because it makes no sense to me why they would slow down just where she was. And then as soon as they realized she was recording, they just swerve into a different lane and then shout in the wait. Well, I think it says wait, but I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like it could be wait is what they said. Usually when you're in that situation, you get that feeling. In my story that I'll tell you eventually, mine was based off feeling in the beginning. Nothing necessarily happened. It was just sort of like a gut instinct. And I feel like she definitely had that gut instinct. And I feel when I watch that video, I also have that gut instinct for her. But yeah, not good. Okay, this one is similar to the first one where it's like footage evidence of someone shouting or saying something to them. They did have a part two and I did watch the part two, but I feel like it was more just talking about the same video again so i'm not going to include part two i'll show you part one and she's basically saying that her and her friend are in the woods and they thought that they almost got kidnapped so if you want you can pause to read the writing on the screen because it gives you a little bit of context Okay, so that is the video. So in part two, they basically called her friend's dad and the dad came and picked them up and they got home safely. When I first watched this, I did get really weird vibes, but it's so confusing because it sounds like the man is shouting 
had someone there with to hurry up maybe he was running and they couldn't keep up and then obviously he's running in the opposite direction which is strange to me and i can't think of a reason why either of those things are happening if he's on his own because as the girls were saying there was no one else around it was literally just him so I think even if he wasn't trying to kidnap them, the whole situation is creepy. And this is the thing, I wish I could go to a forest and just enjoy my own company in a forest and enjoy the forest, but I know that there's a high chance of something really bad happening if I do that on my own. It annoys me that these girls can't even go to the forest together without something weird happening, but at the same time it could have been innocent. I feel like it's quite difficult to explain this video or understand what is really going on. And obviously part two didn't have a lot of information because I don't think they 100% they understand what was going on, but I think if I put myself in that position and I was there, I would probably start crying. I would have been so scared. I think no matter whether he was trying to kidnap them or not, it's still a really scary situation to be in. Okay, the next two videos are part one and two of a story time. Girls, tell me about a time where your quick thinking probably saved your life. Okay, so one time I was at Walmart by myself and I was just getting like a few things and I was walking on random aisles, like no one would go down them. like you wouldn't be looking for something in those aisles like that or to something together. So I was just picking up a few things and I was walking around random aisles and I kept noticing like there was the same voices behind me and I didn't recognize them. And so I looked back and there were two bigger guys and they were following me around. So I went to self checkout and one of the guys walked up behind me and he's like, oh my God, like you're so pretty. And I was like, well, thank you. And just, I was kind of trying to keep to myself. And I was at self checkout and I was done checking out and I looked over and they were just standing at the counter like waiting for me to walk out by the doors. And so I looked around and I tried to find like a tall guy or a lady like I figured I could trust. And I was thinking in my head, I was like, alright, I need a game plan. So I'm gonna make make a part two, it's already up. <laughs> Sorry, this is part two. Um so I was looking around for someone I figured I could trust and I found a lady in like a little nurse's outfit and I went up to her and I was like, Hi mom and she just kinda looked at me weird and I was like let me stand here, please. Like, I'm scared. There's guys following me and I don't know what to do. And, sorry. And she said, okay, just let me finish checking out and we'll go. Well, she got done checking out and she had quite a few items, so it kind of took a minute. But we started walking out and right when we started walking away, they were right in front of us, kind of, like, one of them kept looking back every few seconds to make sure we were still there. And I, we went outside and she was like, where are you parked? And I was like, I'm on the complete other side of the parking lot. Well, we went to the wrong doors. She was like, all right, I'm just going to sound scary right now, but get in my car, and I'm going to take you to your car. Right when you get in your car, call your parents, call whoever you need to. So, if you ever feel uncomfortable, find somebody that looks trustworthy, especially girls, and just do the best you can to stay calm. I know it's scary, but... So that is those two videos. I mainly wanted to share this one because I feel like that's quite a good tip to know because I didn't know about that. I never even figured in my head you could go up to someone and pretend they're your parent or your sister or your brother or even your friend and then the safety in numbers usually. So I really wanted to show that video in case there's anybody watching this where that tip could save their life in an experience like this one and I think that the lady who decided to help her is amazing because if she'd have just told her to go away or acted weird about the situation and she would have had to go out on her own who knows what would have happened who knows what intentions those men had but I do want to say that you could also go up to a shop employee and explain the situation to them. I know I've seen other people where this has happened to them, so this seems to be like not a common thing, but it happens more often than you would think. And I know that they've said that if you go up to a shop employee, they can walk you to your car and also get security if there's security at the store to get rid of the people that are causing an issue. So that's another good tip. So you could do that. So you could go up to an employee, get them to walk you to your car, or you could pretend someone is your friend, your mom, your dad, your boyfriend, girlfriend, partner. I feel like that is a really good tip to have. So I really wanted to share that story and I'm really, really glad that she managed to get home safely. And I wish I could have found more videos under that stitch. That's the thing with TikTok, it's so annoying. It's like, yeah, you can watch stitches, but you can't search people that stitch the video, which is so irritating. You can do it with duets, but obviously you can't really speak over duets the same way you can with stitches. TikTok, sort that out. Maybe create a feature where you can watch who stitched the video. 
I think that would be pretty cool because um, then I could have found a load of videos with really good tips for us. Maybe in the future I'll see if I can find some more and I feel like that would be a good video because it'll help a lot of us out. Okay, this is the last video and then after this one I'll tell you my story. Um, so I just wanted to update you guys with something that happened yesterday that was pretty traumatic for me. Um, I'm okay, but it almost ended with me being hurt or kidnapped or something like that. Um, so I was going on a walk yesterday. I like to go on walks around my neighborhood. My neighborhood is generally pretty safe. There's not a lot of crime. Um, and I carry my phone with me and I, even though you're, what you wear doesn't matter, I typically wear like, um, a lot of layers and stuff because of the weather and everything like that. But if you wear like a crop top, you, it doesn't mean you should be kidnapped or anything. Um, but I was walking, I just finished with my walk, I was walking home, and I had my headphones in, but I had them at a level to where I could still hear if somebody was like walking beside me, or if a car was driving by, and I heard a car coming by, and so I always look to make sure that, you know, they're not trying to like pull into the driveway, or they're not trying to get out and hit me or something, I don't know, um, just to be safe and be precautious and the car started driving very slowly next to me so I was thinking okay he's trying to pull in the driveway so I stopped because I was like okay I don't want to get in the driveway because I don't want to get in his way and then because I was walking on the sidewalk um and so I turned around to him and I asked him if he was pulling in the driveway and as I, as I was saying that, he was getting out of his car. And there was no reason for him to get out of his car. If he wanted to say something to me, he could have said that in his car. Um, but he was getting out of his car. And he was looking at me. And I knew something was not right about that situation. And so I just stood there. Um, I probably should have taken a picture of him or, like, his license plate. But I was just trying to understand the situation because that's never really happened to me before and so as he was trying to get out of his car I was looking at him and he knew obviously he couldn't get away with kidnapping me because he's I've, I've seen him like I think he thought that I didn't see him and so that he can get away with it because like I had headphones in and I was walking so I obviously wasn't paying attention but I was and so he then got back into his car and closed his door and drove off very fast. And I should have gotten a picture of his license plate, but I didn't. And that's something that I definitely would wanted to have done if I could go back. But that was very traumatic. Um, I'm okay. Just make sure if you're walking, be careful. Um, watch your surroundings. Okay, so that is the last story time TikTok. And I wanted to share this one again because I feel like a lot of us have to do it and it's so irritating, but we all have to turn our earphones down while we're walking on the street, which is annoying because I feel like we shouldn't have to do that. We should be able to just enjoy our lives without having to freaking think about being hurt every two seconds. It really angers me. But this is something I've done myself, even walking where I live now. Obviously I live in a city now, so I'm even more cautious here. I was walking down the street a few weeks ago and it was raining and I actually had this on, what I've got on now. And I've got jogger shorts on and I was just wearing Converse and it would start to rain a little bit and I was just walking because I had to get some shopping. And I had my earphones in and these men started catcalling me and stuff. And I don't think they realized that I had the volume down on my earphones because I turn it down just to make sure that if anything happens, I can hear. Same reason as she did. And that annoyed me so much because I feel like just because I had my legs out, they felt like they could do that to me. And they were old enough to be my dad maybe my granddad. So it just creeped me out. I just think it's freaky. Honestly, if you're a man that does that, stop it. It's weird. No one likes it. I promise you, no one likes it. And I promise you, no one will miss you doing that. The only thing you do is make yourself look like an absolute weirdo and you make the other person feel really uncomfortable. If you're watching this and you do that, stop fucking doing it. And yeah, I'm swearing because it annoys me so much. 
I think that he definitely had bad intentions because why would he pull up, get out of the car, look at her and then just get back in the car and speed off? I think she's right. I feel like he thought she wasn't paying attention and he would just take his chance and then when he realised he couldn't take his chance, he left. I'm kind of glad that she was paying attention and she was able to get home safe but just watching these videos just scares me so much so i'll tell you about my kidnapping story now again i don't know if it is it could have been something else something that's still bad but i don't know if it's kidnapping but i'll tell you it so a few years ago this was before i could drive i had got the train to bristol because i was seeing someone at the time and they lived in bristol and where i live well where i used to live is like a really small town so in the weekdays it's dead there's no one out at night time i was coming back late on the train it was like 10 o'clock at night usually when i'm on the train before i could drive i would order my taxi home about five minutes before i get to the station so that when i get off the train it's there and i don't have to wait about in the dark and i can just go straight home but when i had been doing that the past few times the taxis would come early and they would get really stressed that i was still on the train whilst they were waiting for me so i thought you know what it's fine i'll be fine i'll order the taxi when i get off the train it'll be fine so it's 10 o'clock at night it's dark there's no one about but opposite the train station is a pub that's called The Station. And usually on a weekend it would be really busy, but it was still open and there were people inside. And when I was waiting for my taxi, I saw this man and he was walking so fast, like towards me. But the thing is he hadn't done anything wrong. Him walking fast is not an issue. But I had a gut feeling that something was really, really wrong. And I started to panic inside. And I just felt like I needed to, I needed to get to someone but there was literally no one about so the only idea I had was to go to the pub but I didn't want to just walk into a pub and not buy anything like that's my anxiety getting in the way because I'm sure if I didn't have anxiety I would have just gone straight in the pub and sat in there but my anxiety was like don't go in the pub but just go close enough so this man he's getting pretty close to me at this point so I walk over to the pub and I stand by the door and if you are looking at the pub from the outside without looking into the door it looked closed so I'm stood there and I know there's people there I'm close enough to the door that I can just pull the door open if I need to and this man he carries on and he storms straight over to me he just stands there and stares at me and he looks so angry and I remember that I held my breath because I was so scared I was literally like like and I felt my heart come out my ass and I was freaking out so much on the inside but I was just trying to like compose myself because I didn't want to start crying after he'd been done staring at me he looked into the pub and he could see that there was people in there and then he looked back at me and he sort of shook his head and then like walked off my feeling is that he thought the pub was closed and he was coming over to me but then when he realized there was people in the pub he kind of changed his mind for whatever his ideas were and he left because if he'd have tried anything i would have screamed i would have pulled the door open i would have done something i wouldn't have just let him take me away and i think he knew that and i think he was coming over just to check if the pub was closed because it looked like it was so that really shook me up and freaked me out my taxi didn't come for like 20 minutes so i was then having to stay there for 20 minutes worried about whether he was going to come back uh, luckily he didn't and i managed to get home but i never did that again i always made sure i ordered the taxi whether they had to wait for me or not i know taxis aren't the safest thing either but in that moment i just really wanted to get in the taxi and get home but that's my story i don't know if he was trying to assault me if he was trying to kidnap me i'm not sure but all i know is that if you have a gut feeling always trust it because he hadn't done anything when i got that gut feeling and it told me to just escape if i had not gone over to that pub and i'd stayed by the train station where there was no one about and it was dark who knows what could have happened yeah it freaks me out to think about but that is the end of today's video i hope you liked it i hope you've learned some tips and tricks on how to stay safe and i hate that we have to do that and i hate that that's the way the world is like i said i've tried to be as sensitive as i possibly can because this is real things that happen to real people and i do feel like there was a lot of tips for us in this video so i feel like this video is good to be out there and informative at the same time but yeah i hope you liked the video if you did please remember to smash a massive thumbs up remember to subscribe and until next time i will see you all soon peace